Hey everybody, how's it going? Bjork the Bear here, and today we are playing Kenshi. And in this episode, we are back with the Gears and Stuff Trading Company, and we have done some upgrades. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Slave Caravan. Okay, so uh, we've done some improvements. I can't remember if this was recorded. Um, there's been a bit of a gap in my recordings. Uh, because of, uh, if you're watching this episode, I'm not sure if this comes before or after something with the uh, Bjorn and the Freedom Seekers. But uh, I got a new computer. Um, so, just in case it's not said there, uh, I'm going to say it here. It's, uh, I've upgraded from a Intel i5-6500, uh, I, I can't remember. Um, but anyways, Intel i5 6 Gen to a uh, AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, a uh, whole new computer, same graphics card, all that, but uh, yeah, really happy with it so far. Um, as you can see, I, I even went on a little tangent in the, uh, the other series, so I'm not going to do too much, but I can jump from one side of the map. Boom. And is this the city I meant to go to? It's not. This isn't where I meant to go to. Uh, Sad Neil's on a little side mission right now. I think Heft is where I want him. Yeah. Okay, anyways, so he's going to do that. But anyways, uh, getting back to the computer, I can jump from one side of the map to the other minimum load time that would have normally shut down my computer <laughs> not not shut it down but I, I would have sat here for a good uh, couple minutes watching it so I'm well enjoying this that's uh I, I, I enjoy it so much I can't even English so let's check things out uh, but anyways some of the things that we have changed as you can see over this way don't you dare go down Okay, so we have armor being built now. Um, I've decided to go with mercenary plate and uh, samurai leg plates for my armor. Uh, we've got a couple of guys working on the uh, grinding out the ar uh, armor plating and whatnot. We have hemp up and running full time in this uh, lovely little building here. We have a new group, the uh, agriculture group. And honestly, I think uh, hemp is, or uh, I'm sorry, hydroponics is probably gonna be the way to go for a lot of our things, because this is taking so such a minimum amount of uh, people, and we are growing it like crazy. Uh, yeah <laughs> so it's going really good really smooth I'm enjoying it uh, let's see keep an eye on sad Neil there what's your speed looking like you're running at full speed are you heavy well clearly not if you're running at full speed let's check on him so he's got a manhunter following him See, the messed up thing is... Oh, no, he gave up. Okay, I was about to say, even if I go into here, the, uh... What is happening here? Okay. Tech Hunters. Yeah, poor guys. Okay, anyways. Um, I was gonna say the Manhunter can wander in here and still try and take me out, but... Alright, now, the reason we're here, Sad Neil's mission, is we need to get these guys on our side. Uh, there's a special spurt, uh, special person that I can speak to, if I can find him. That's a samurai captain, that's not who I am looking for. Yonin Elite. It's going to be the only person besides uh, Emperor 
Tengu there that I have a speech bubble with. And the crappy thing about it is he could actually be out uh, somewhere in the world because something attacked somebody or something like that. There he is, all right. Okay, so that is the uh, the mission that he has. He's over here making a uh, an alliance with his group. Okay, so I've heard a couple of different uh, a, d a couple different options. So there's the money. Uh, you pay. I forget the exact amount, but you, you can donate money to them, and they will, uh, it, it'll gain you influence and stuff like that, but we're, uh, we're not going to do that because that's super expensive. There's the influence, uh, let's see, influence is your value as a trading power and military ally. Control of a strategically impressive outpost will be enough to show your worth to us, and he's going to check with his scouts. And, yep, so he nods his head while he reads the report. An impressive city, Sad Mule. You'll surely make a useful ally to us. Now all I need is 10,000 cat joining fee and our alliance will be official. So if I say deal, 60 relationship, which immediately throws us into an alliance. Um, I believe you get a break on taxes for that <laughs> which is all that i want this alliance for i i just i don't want them coming knocking on my door every uh week for their tax money anymore so ten thousand cats now and i believe that it stops them from uh coming to collect taxes now the traders guild will still be there to collect taxes from me which feels like every other day but you know uh, but yeah, we're going to take that deal. So, boom. Now, that does uh, come with repercussions, though. Rebel farmers are now going to be hostile. Uh, I believe anti-slavers, yep. And then... Who else is it? Oh, slave. Uh, slave traders are allies with us now. Which could potentially open up a new market for us, but we will see about that. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, so that's all that uh, I had for that. But the next goal is to have, uh, we'll have to see if that actually holds out. I don't know if that does or if, it, uh, if they just come and nothing happens. But anyways, uh, we'll have to see if we can get the Traders Guild on our side too. We're already well on our way and pretty much all you have to do with the Traders Guild so far is uh, just pay pay your bill. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, uh, we'll do that. I am very eager to see if they do come because if they, uh, if they do, then that it's kind of a waste of money, although now we do have the alliance of the uh, with the United Cities, which it, it can't be looked at sideways. It, they are strong. They are a very big group. Uh, if you take a look, oh, this wind is killing me. <laughs> uh, if you take a look, they have this land down here. They have a couple cities in here. Um, they have this all the way down here or wait is Brink the United Cities? Yes. Uh, they have this whole area up here. I have a save. Let's see. Okay we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get out of here because that's actually really loud. Um, I'll make sure to adjust that. <laughs> 
Fix it in post. Uh, anyways, so... Man, what else did we change? I don't think we really did anything else. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, we need to... Oops, not that. Tech. Uh, we need to get a couple more groups of... Uh, recruits. We need to get them out here and uh, get them training up because we don't really need them for production. But uh, what we do need is more uh, more people for the uh, for the guards. Uh, we need a traders uh, caravan guard and all that fun stuff. Uh, okay. So, let's take a look here. I might have to double down on this, uh, the armor plating, because right, whoops, right now they are not producing enough to keep up uh, two, two groups, or uh, two uh, armor stands. Which, how is his stuff coming out? It's coming out... S uh, not so great. <laughs> it's coming out pretty spotty, really. Um, let's see. What about you? Uh, that was... Uh, Render's clothing. We need to actually get that sold. Standard. They're improving. Uh, honestly, Grind and uh, Rotor might end up better than these guys quicker because they're actually using the armor beating stations. Yeah, uh, 53, 46. So this, uh, the armor beating stations improves uh, armor smithing. And uh, since they're steadily working, they're skills are increasing faster than these guys whose skills are supposed to increase faster because their uh, their subtype has them uh, learning skills like this faster but anyway let's see yeah only 41 rotor is 53 but we're gonna keep those guys doing that because I want the uh, the brainy looking guys doing the the smithing and whatnot. So, for some reason, we have a have two groups of uh, gray flares smugglers just out here in our in our group <laughs> or uh, in our camp. And I don't know why. All right, Let's speed you up. I guess uh, what we could do while we're waiting. How old is freight? Uh, the freight's not going to be able to keep up. No. All right. So we'll take lifter and hauler. We'll get them set up with some equipment, uh, and then we'll run them. We're actually going to run. I think we're going to go to Squin. I want to start dipping my toes into Squin over there so to speak, and uh, get things started with them. Uh, no, we're going to stick with the uh, United Cities. Maybe if we go up to uh, Trader's Edge, we'll be able to do something more with the uh, Sorry, my brain stopped. Uh, Brain.exe is not responding. <laughs> if we go and do stuff with the Traders Guild, maybe we can improve our relations with them. So let's get all of that. I think we're gonna leave the uh, the standard. Mm. No, we're not. We're not gonna leave the standard grade. I was gonna say we're gonna leave the standard grade so we can at least equip our guys with them, but it won't be long before these guys are reliably pumping out. Uh, standard grade. Okay. We 
actually getting attacked? No. So, I was hoping to run into a, uh, a group of United Cities uh, samurai, because they will actually, since we're allied now, uh, they'll protect you, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, like, they'll uh, accompany you wherever you're going and whatnot. They'll guard you for a couple days. Okay. Yep, take my money and go. Uh, what do we got here? Manhunters. So are we allied with manhunters now? I think just slavers. Yeah, just slavers. Okay. So anti-slavers not so good. Blood raiders aren't good. This guy alive? Yeah, he's crippled though. These are Traders Guild uh, dudes. Uh, I was wondering if that would uh, turn to me. Give some free experience to Sad Neil here. I O. Nope, nope. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I need to get more of those guys so bad. Uh, let's see now. What are we waiting on? What are we doing? These guys are ready to go. So we are going to head back to, uh, we're going to head to Hang and then see about talking to the Traders Guild and see if there's any kind of uh, thing that could be struck up with them, any kind of deal. Lifter and Hauler are on their way. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this because this is I'm, I'm able to do this and not constantly have uh, loading issues <laughs> I'm impressed with it jump over oh there we go we hit something okay but it ended that eh, quickly yeah by no means is it perfect because Kenshi is not super optimized um, but it's a uh, hell of a lot better. Way better, even. Alright, Sad Neil. Let's hurry you up to here. Buildings for sale. Sweet. So these are going to come up from time to time because that's, uh, it thinks it's a new game and I just imported the save. But uh, I didn't actually import the save. It's just because it's all on a new computer. Uh, so we have the bar open. Are these the... No, this is just the United Cities. Uh, they're dressed like uh, City Heroes League, which those guys are... Uh, they're, they're not actually United Cities. I thought they were. Uh, I, I thought they were allied, but they're not, apparently. <laughs> um, basically, they're just uh, vigilantes, bigoted vigilantes at that. So, lots of fun for the whole family. And, boom. That was it. That's all I had. 
Uh, Sanu. Nope. Okay. So let's head over to Trader's Edge here. I don't know if I could go in there. I'm going to try. A lot of saving action. Going up. So I think this is basically just the barracks. I was hoping that it was uh, kind of like the Emperor's uh, setup. Which, uh, maybe. Do I do it? Do I wake him up? I do. Uh, Noble Squire, Supreme Yamdu, nice to meet you. Business, is there anything? I want to make an alliance. Oh, but it's easy, sir. Lifetime membership of the Treasury Guild. Unless you have trading posts in the area. Do you have an outpost? Oh. Okay. Free trade protection, slave exemption, and class. It's the desert man stream to one day become a member of the tra uh, fine traders guild. Can't afford membership right now, no problem. Okay. So. Okay, that's uh, the ruler of the traders guild, I guess. Or the uh, whatever you want to call him. Looking around to see if I can find uh, Igor. That man is a, or well, Hiver is a monster. I don't see him anywhere. But that's okay. Uh, we are going to send a lifter and hauler back. Sad Neil's going to continue to hang out here. I actually didn't know that you could do this with uh, the Traders Guild. I saw that you could do it with uh, with the United Cities. I mean, I've, I've attempted to do it, but the money way, and that's the stupid way. Never do that. <laughs> it's a waste of your time and your money. Uh, but if you have an outpost big enough, like so, then yeah, hopefully it does well for us. Freaks. You are low on food. Let's see if we have any actual food here. No, we do not. So, we'll just trade a stack of... Ooh, you need food too. Okay. Okay, okay. So... Gotta get more books. Uh, research. I mean, I don't really have to. We could make chew sticks. Um, I do have cactus ready to go at that. Um, we have lots and lots of cactus. But. And we really don't have to make too many chew sticks at that. Okay. Yeah, we'll. We'll reconvene on this thought here in a moment. <laughs> oh, wow, that was quick. You made it back so fast. So, let's take these. We'll load up on those. Yeah, he's probably got a good sum of them right now. And deep learning. He is just going ham over there. Okay. Well, we need to sell. So, all right. Let's sell some of the things that we've looted. We haven't looted too much lately. I'm not, uh, I'm not really worried about it for some reason. I should be because that's <laughs> that's how we're gonna keep making money. But 
I've uh, just kind of been leaving them to die without their stuff. Uh, do you have no room? Okay, so what we can do... These are all stolen. Yeah. I don't know who these are stolen from. That's my only concern. Okay, so anyways, do that, do that, and then these two run back to Sadniel. Okay, so just remember it's a small hive guy that we have to talk to. Old Yandu. We should definitely be able to afford it after this in just a moment. Uh, let's go and check out this building here. So are these Trader's Guild guys? Yes, they are. Okay. So I'm not so much interested in what they have weapons wise as much as I am their uh, blueprints. Don't want horse choppers. Yeah, they don't really have much. Okay. It's a good saber. The hold sabers are alright, but I think the uh, ring saber and then the desert saber or er, foreign, yeah, the foreign saber, not the desert. That's the desert saber there. So that one actually does a lot more damage to animals, but this one I think has the better stats overall, which it's hard to compare them because it's a big difference in skill. And then the horse chopper is just a horse chopper. <laughs> Oh, all right, they're here, so let me go ahead and just flip you upside down and empty out your pockets for you. So we have enough to buy our way into the Trader's Guild. And then now we just need to make enough for the cocaine to snort off the hookers. Chain mail. Okay, in the future. In the future. We don't have it right now. Do, 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 do. It's a prototype grade. Shoddy. Ah, oh, this stuff's kind of garbage. I was gonna buy Sad Neil a uh, different set of armor, but this stuff's kind of poopy. We don't wanna, we don't wanna waste the money on it. Although, no, nope, no, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right, so we'll send Sad Neil back over this way, and he will start this. start this alliance with these guys which if I would have known about this sooner I would have most certainly done it I knew about the uh, about the United Cities but I didn't know you could do the same with these guys so let's see where'd my dude go oh no dude where's my dude It's probably, I would assume he's down here. Oh, there he is, hiding in the corner. All right. Yep, Alliance. I do have an outpost. Ugh. Slave traders improved. 
All right. Traders Guild are now allied. Uh, so I still have tax collectors though. Received a membership pack. Oh boy. Contains countless pages of rambling legal mumbo jumbo, each individually stamped with the seal of the Traders Guild. You can probably just chuck it away, free up some storage space, but you know, there's a tiny chance that as soon as you do, somebody will ask for it. Noble word, world problems. <laughs> That's cool. Yep, well, in the backpack it goes. Do, 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 do. Alright. So. Okay. Okay, so what about anti-slavers? Hmm. Okay, so we might... I do know where Tin Fist is, so we might eventually take that. We're nowhere near ready, but... Uh, what about Swampers? Okay. Stone Golem. That's awesome. <laughs> I like this guy. Uh, I want to, yeah, find this blood rum. Ten Pistons Ninjas. Okay, so he's not as not as insufferable as uh, the Emperor, <clears throat> but he's still one of them. He's still in the Kool Aid, so I don't know uh, I don't know how I feel about him. But anyways, uh, we we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Um, we've gotten leaps and bounds actually even though we didn't really do much all we did was uh, pay a little bit of money and uh, gain some allies <laughs> which I guess is the way of the world if you think about it the traders way and whatnot so yeah uh, if you did like the episode if you learned something like I did uh, then leave a thumbs up if you didn't like the episode thumbs down you know do what you want to do uh, like, subscribe, comment, and all that fun stuff, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.